All right, in this final video with my 3D printer going off in the background, I'm just going to show you a couple of other settings I would probably change um, in a simple setup like this. So I've got my flight mode set up, I've got the I've got a tune in, it flies well. Uh, there's just a few other things I would change. So I'll just show you what those are. So first of all, just a reminder, so I set up the flight modes. I haven't got my radio on at the moment, so that's why this is not showing up. But you see flight modes, I've got loiter and alt hold and stabilize set up in flight modes. Um, I think I've got my mix wrong. Which is why it shows up a little bit oddly here. Uh, but um, I've corrected that now. So in terms of uh, settings, so I think the first couple to set are, I think it's always useful to have RTL on a switch, so I tend to do that on RC8, which you can get from you see, RC8 option here, so I tend to put RTL on a switch there, uh, which is a useful way of bringing the copter back to you if you need to, just as a we obviously already used emergency stop, so I put that on RC8. And then the other thing to do is configure, make sure the fail safes are configured properly. So this, I can't remember whether it's on this page, maybe not. Okay, so got uh, this perimeter. I know, I always get it the wrong way around, FS. Right, throttle fail safe. Okay, so I set this to land just while I was testing because I wanted it to land if I was had a loss of radio control. But actually that's not very helpful if it lands when it's far away from you. So I generally the default is good, which is enable always RTL, so this is value one. And then the throttle fail safe value um, Usually this should be fine because the, the values go to zero when you lose uh, control, so that's that's good. And then the other thing to check is the EKF fail safe, which might be EK3. Ah. Failsafe EKF action. So this one is alt hold. Now, sorry, this one is land. Um, now I I find that a bit annoying. Failsafe EKF action. It lands. Uh, what I prefer it to do is do alt hold. So I tend to make that alt hold. So then the copter can settle down, and then you can. Uh, um, land it manually if you, if you need to. Uh, so what happens then is the copter will just hang in the air if the failsafe is enabled. So I tend to do that. And then the final couple of parameters, if I look at the hover throttle, so it's learn to hover throttle of 0.3 here, so if we look at default for of a learning is to learn, and so the hover throttle is learned is 0.3, and so it's just important to set up the vertical acceleration parameters to reflect that new hover throttle. So that is these two: so throttle acceleration p and i. So you want p to the be the same as your hover throttle, so 0.3 here. And then I to be double, double your hover throttle, so 0.6 here. I can write those parameters out. So this this is it. You can find this in the tuning guide. I don't know why this is. So this RCL didn't write parameters before. And then finally, the last thing I tend to do, which is a nice feature now that you've got BD shot running, and so you can always get uh, <coughs> motor RPM is set this 
takeoff parameter, so takeoff RPM min. So if you set that to a thousand, which is pretty low. Um, it's like 15 hertz, so low enough. Then, if you if your motor fails to arm for some reason, it will not let you take off. Which, if you're not looking, uh, <laughs> is a really useful feature. So I think I find this one quite a useful thing to set. And that is it. So I, I'm that's sort of the end of this first set of series, just getting the thing flying and flying well. There's a bunch of other things you could do. I've covered those in other videos, but that's sort of a, a basic um, zero to, to flying. And so in the next series, I'm going to look at configuring OpenHD and see how that goes. So thanks for watching.